Listening to this, then we know you know how to have a good time. And we just found the perfect drink to level up any occasion. This is for the Ragers, the Spring Breakers, the life of the party. Your new favorite drink is now Pirate Water. Pirate Water is a ready to go drink that's a malt beverage and 10% alcohol. It comes in four epic flavors such as margarita, that's in my hand, sex on the beach, Bahama Mama, and Miami Vice. It's a beautiful 80 degree weather day here in New York City and I am loving this margarita. It is uh, it's making my day a lot better, you know, with with uh, the good weather comes uh, you know a drink in my hand so and that drink's gonna be pirate water go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you or order it on gopuff let's get back to the show okay cool. you good yeah i'm good all right let's go some other table makes me want to do that is, is that like public school shit yeah they would, like always do sure. like that yeah with a little pencil making beats with the pencils yeah god that kid was kick like flip. the coolest kid <laughs> oh, i flip. always wanted to be that kid i never could get it really no could you what you do it? i can do like a let's see hey okay hey. that's all i got oh, I, thought I got one <laughs> yeah why is there no why is nobody dm me yet that's all i got come on yeah i don't know something about that i was a kid who was always drawing like the s's in my notebook too oh, i almost got one tattooed on me thank really? god i did it oh gosh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that might be cool, like aesthetically, but not. No, yeah, not, not when you. I was 15. too young. It was gonna be like my first one. I was like, this is sick. Totally yeah. wasn't. You just gotta get your last name like right here on your neck. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like a lot of people got that stick and poked. Yeah, my they nephew knew how to draw it. My nephew. Oh, nice. Now he's in Columbia. Has selling the drugs. the S <laughs> stick and poked? Uh, with his last name across his chest, stick and oh, poked. That. Yes. Yeah. Oh, dude. I think he threw maybe an S in there. It's like Doodle Bob wrote that shit on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. Damn, that's it's funny you just put a random last name on there. Mm. Just oh, Garcia yeah. on my back for <laughs> yes. no reason. Garcia goes hard. It too. does, right? Yeah. I, I feel like if cool. you're gonna get any like last name in like old English, it's gotta be like a tough last name. Mm. Yeah, for sure. I think you can't do like Wallace. Not like yeah. Wiedenhauser. That's that would be like lit. Oh, yeah. That, on it, your back, just though. Like at the start, like it'd be a whole rainbow, <laughs> just like a circle. Yeah, you can't get like McLaughlin. Yeah. Sure, McLaughlin. I'm sure there's plenty of McLaughlins with that on their body. That's pretty tight. I That's get tight. that. Yeah. Big Irish Shamrock. But we have Trevor Wallace on the Boom, pod. Boom, we're here. Trevor yeah, Wallace. Well, yeah, yeah, Trevor Wallace is here. We're here. I, I went on your pod a you little did. bit ago. People loved it. Yeah, so I figured we have to have you on the pod too when you're in New York. What are you here for? Uh, I was doing shows in upstate New York, and upstate is, I've never done heroin, but if there's ever a place. Oh, my God. If there's yeah. ever a place, Syracuse, it's uh, a. <laughs> oh, Syracuse. Syracuse. I was yeah. doing shows in upstate and then in some in Pennsylvania, and then I just was like, let me just go into the city for a few days. And, Did you uh, go to Albany at all? I didn't, but I have been there before. Because I saw a TikTok this past weekend, and it was like, Albany is the scariest place. I saw that too. Like, so depressing. Walking around, and nobody it, was there. I was like, damn, it really is. And then everyone was like, upstate New York is just a scary place. I think mm. all of New York's serotonin is in the city. It's yeah. New York, it's just mm -hmm. like they just f focus everything on that, then everyone else is kind of like, and look, there's great places up new, other in New York, but like, it does feel like that. Yeah, mm. it's, like, it's like cloudy all yeah. the time. Just haze. It's sad. It's like they're just Mother Nature just vaping up there. It's just yeah. like just clouds <laughs> of just depression. Why do you it's have to tough. bring up vaping? Roll oh, you're about. quitting. I saw that on your I'm story. I'm day two right now, and I'm like, it's really hard. Damn. It's you are counting the seconds, minutes, the hours. seconds. I caught yeah. her itching earlier. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I'm like just chewing mints like off. I can't Dude, do like nicorette or anything. We have a podcast sponsor, and have you heard of it? It's like you. It's like essential oils, and it's like a wooden. What's thing, it called? Fume. It's F-U-M, but it's like you hit just like essential oils. I think I might have ordered that. Really? I, yeah. I have I've ordered a bunch I, of stuff because I'm freaking out. Yeah, I was going to say, like, what, are you quitting in to per oh, I should hide this. This even looks like it. Uh, I know. I don't, Triggered. So are you quitting for li like life? Are you good? I'm or? quitting for life, yeah. I'm just trying yeah. to quit for life, man. Fuck, I know. Dude, that's sad. No, it's, good. it's probably no, not going to work. Oh, good for I you. wish. I'm Did trying you ever to get, pick it up? No, I'm trying to get addicted to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, everyone tries. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend tried succeeds. really hard and he couldn't get addicted. <laughs> really? Yeah, dude, there's like, like there were, we're out here. I've tried getting addicted. You smoke cigarettes? No. <sighs> you I have got, any vices? I have some Zins on me. Oh, all right, all right. All right. But a, I never got fix. that. Like, I feel like Zins is something that you do to wean off. You just started with it. Yeah. Well, I used to like chew in like in like uh, high school. Okay. Mm. Yeah, because my next door neighbor was my best friend. He played on the baseball team, and I was oh, like, the baseball he kids. gets bitches. Yeah. I want to get bitches. <laughs> the baseball oh, yeah. kids but and the like, hockey kids. They're big chewers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a, an experience recently that like made me want to vape. I was putting on a chapstick out front of a bar, <laughs> waiting for my Uber, uh -huh. trying to kiss my Uber driver. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. And this girl thought I was hitting a vape. She goes can I hit your vape? I was like, oh, it's Burt's Bees. <laughs> and like the look of disgust in her eyes. It's, it's oh. like you almost should have said it's, it's Burt's Bees. Yeah. <laughs> literally. I like, should have been gay. like BRB. I'm going to go get four hookahs right now. <laughs> but like that, like, 
oh, it's Burt's Bees. <laughs> like, mm. I could just feel everything in her body. Like, I mean, like, this bitch over here. She dried right up. Bitch made. <laughs> so now I'm just going to carry vapes on me. Yeah, just yeah, that's it. Like, yeah. yeah, just a have. Just a yeah. have it in case someone needs it. Um, We wanted to, we start with a game with you. Please, please. I love okay. you. Okay. It's just really, would you rather? Yeah. Okay. So this is your first one. Would you rather bomb in front of your favorite comedian or oh, wow. visibly <laughs> jizz your pants at your grandmother's funeral? I'm jizzing my pants. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, right? yeah, yeah. Because like, it's like family. Yeah. Like sure. Every like Easter, they're like, Hey, there goes Trev come pants. You know, like they got <laughs> well, a that, dumb nickname. That's a fucking big mouth episode. Do you is remember it? that? It, 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 he jizzes or he's jerking off at his grandfather's well, funeral. Well, there's a I difference. Knew it sounded yeah. <laughs> he's jerking off. Because if I'm jerking off like at a funeral, like you should go to jail. <laughs> I'm going to miss your grandma. <laughs> <You're> right. <Yeah. laughs> but if I just have a wet dream, that's grandpa true. up there being like, send this to her. <laughs> you know? yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. That's kind of beautiful. But <laughs> bombing in front of your like favorite comedian, you'll remember that for your life. And who would who be it? yours? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would probably say Bill Burr or like Louie. And like, if I like bombed in front of the, you know, you just yeah. like. Have you met either of them yet? Yeah, met them both. They're so, so nice. I think but you're like, silly and funny. Louie actually watched one of my sets at the improv one time. Oh, oh shit. shit. And you know, I, 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 no, I actually, it was good. But like where my brow of like comedy is versus like his, I'm like, anything I say doesn't touch it. He's like God tier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when he's like, yeah, good stuff out there. And I was like, are you just saying that? But then he like referenced something that I said. And I was like, dude, you fucking, oh, you were huge. listening. Yeah. Dude. Oh he, wow. Apparently he loves to watch like comedians. He just sits in the back and watches. And that sits amazing. in the back. And then I jizzed down. in my pants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. On stage. Yeah. Um, that or like if Chappelle was up there, but I like, said maybe Chappelle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, dude, I mean, just bombing in general. Yeah. yeah. Just tough, never. Have you had a really bad bomb? Yeah, dude, I, I literally, I was just telling the KFC guys, I had a bomb recently at a college gig in Canada. Ooh. Um, I, it was 6 p.m. broad daylight and all their windows were open. <laughs> and you know, comedy works best, bright as fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, oh, how can we like make it darker in here? They're like, uh, oh, this is all the lights off. And I'm like, mm. fuck. So it's super bright. And I'm like, let me like crack the room a little bit break the awkward tension uh it's a, it's a college in canada like i didn't even know they had colleges out there so i'm like let me do a quick q a kind of like asking yeah. people i see this girl in the front row wearing over the ear headphones and i go oh, what great the fuck's up with that? and that's what i said i go are you wearing headphones and she goes i'm autistic oh, no. <laughs> and this is 30 seconds into the set it's not even a joke yet i'm drenched in sweat and the whole crowd no reaction like looks at me and they're like what's he gonna say <laughs> What'd you fucking say? I think I was like, same. Like, I don't know what. <laughs> like, I was panicked. I was like, like armpit sweat. Like, oh, no. And this is 30 seconds in broad daylight. Oh, that shit, was. Man. That set the tone. The rest of the show was like fun, but like, it was definitely like. <laughs> Yeah, I like left there and I was like, dude, I think I'm just going to go back to like my day job. <laughs> like, I, is HR hiring? <laughs> They're in the audience going, you stink, eh? Yeah, it was, <laughs> I can't do a Canadian accent. <laughs> I, I was like, why are you being Spanish? <laughs> it would have been better than that. I mean, dude, it was a part of Canada. It's called Edmonton. It's in Alberta. They're like American as fuck. They had like mullets, Bass Pro Shop hats. Oh, sick. Was, Mustaches? <laughs> Yeah, nice. they were the like Hicks the, of the North. But that's why I was like, dude, I'm a crush. These are my people. Yeah, yeah. mullets, Bass Pro Shop hats, <laughs> short shorts, and balls autistic, poking bro. out. Full Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was probably that was like a that was like a I I think I was able to get out of it. But that was like a that was a bomb. Mm. Like yeah. if I had that in front of like a big comedian in the back. That'd terrified. be, tough. Yeah, That'd be tough. tough. But those guys have also like lived that. They'd be like, you know, I had something similar. We all yeah. have to go through we're, that to yeah. get where I am. If now. they respect you, they would do that. If they don't, they'd be like, Oof, you fucking suck. <laughs> You're tough. I had an autistic bitch with headphones <laughs> on. <laughs> it's just all part of growing up. It is. It's all part of comedy. <laughs> Wait, do you? Uh, this is a side note, but can you grow a mustache? No, uh, no, it's just not good. I tried to do it during the pandemic. <laughs> I just look like a GameStop employee. Like, it's, it's not a good not, one. It's like. It's just not good. That mm. sucks because I we wish. were talking about this the other day. That's the one thing a guy can do to like really be like, all right, that's hot. That's cool. Oh, man. And you can't trendy, grow I think I would look like Nigel alert. Thornberry if hey, I had a fucking mustache, <laughs> Honestly, dude. Maybe. With this beak right here. <laughs> I wish. I wish I could have like good facial hair. I think I have good just like gin like hair. That's like yeah, my I'd boyfriend so. has great hair on yeah. his head, can't grow any facial hair. But I hair. would trade that. You know, mm. I love like like this is great. But like have a receding hairline and a stash or like throw a hat oh. on. You know? Yeah, I guess you could throw a hat but, on. But dude, hats hats with like the flop in the back? Mm. That's mm. in right now. You've that with the, the stash. Flop? The flow. What is, what is it? Flow? The lettuce? Lettuce. Letty. 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 Holy shit. Letty. Can I get that Letty out? Yeah, come on. Get the <laughs> Get the Zen, bro. Come on. That was literally the people I was performing for in Canada. Yeah. you did pretty good, eh? 
<laughs> I should have like Come I didn't think it. about that until after I was like, oh, you guys are like hockey like Nelk Bros. Yeah, like, yeah. I should have. That's all they are. That's how I would have connected with them. Yeah. Mm. Instead, I just bombed for no reason. <laughs> that's okay. You needed it. Yeah, dude. You I wish I had well. a stash. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I could grow it out. It's been like two years since I tried during the pandemic. Yeah, but maybe you could try. You just have to grow, grow it out, out for a very long time and then see if it gets patchy. I need to like go to jail for like 90 days so I have an excuse to yeah. grow it out. Yeah. You know? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's that weird in-between phase where like, is he mm. is he going for that? Yeah. 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 Does he know? Does he own a van? Because he's <laughs> depressed. And he has a mirror a anywhere? Yeah. yeah, I wish, dude. That's All a right. good look. Well, next one. Have a lisp or be paralyzed from the waist up? Whoa. Paralyzed waist. Uh, I'm going lisp. Yeah. But I'm just telling everybody I'm deaf. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. okay. You can't have a list in sign language, you know? <laughs> Shit, yeah. <laughs> Do you have an S on there? So yeah. I don't know what the S is. But, um, yeah, I do a lisp. Okay. I, but it paralyzed waist up. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, what am crazy. I going to do with my legs? Like, well, you can't. Like we were saying, we, like even if you are paralyzed waist up, you still can't walk because, like, the top half just flops over. Body limp. Wow. Yeah. yeah. What are you guys doing? You look like a just whack inflatable tube man just deflating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just what going you guys down. do lisp or I'm in upper on half? um waist up. You really? Yeah. You just I don't can't. fuck with lisp? <laughs> I can't with all this I got going on, I can't deal with a lisp on top of that. But that you can deal with being in a wheelchair? <laughs> yeah. I think I can make that more comedy Wait, than waist, a lisp. Waist up that means your face can't talk. You can't like you're <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. can't even you're you're just legs. Yeah, I, just, I think I'm just being all disrespectful. Legs. You're like, I'd rather Lists. not talk yeah. and then, then have a list. <laughs> yeah. well, I kind of wanted to see where the other way would go, but it's just not great. It's, it's just, just not, not great. great. Yeah, what are you doing? Uh, I'd probably go lisp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's crazy if you don't go lisp. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I saw um, you Kill Tony. You ever watch that? Yeah, yeah, I love the show. Um, some kid had cerebral palsy who got called up, and so he just did all of his jokes with um, like the, the, the talking app. Yeah. yeah. And like, How do you it, do? Was, it was really interesting to watch because he like kind of missed some of his punches because it, he didn't type it in fast oh, enough fuck. but it was but funny to watch he, yeah he crushed i was like pre-recorded i think if i was doing that yeah, yeah i think he yeah. did and then he was trying to like respond to the judges it was like whitney cummings and like Bert. oh right yeah. and he was like trying to answer them with like funny jokes but it just took too long <laughs> i was like oh tough <laughs> yeah that is weird i guess it's better if you like pre-recorded it'd be weird because then you're just sitting there listening to your own jokes yeah, you're you like, hit play and you're like how to do <laughs> what a, what a, what a or you box. just like <laughs> right. embarrassing story right. oh right, so right. crazy yeah. wait you went to Burt Kreischer's roast I hosted it yeah oh, you oh, hosted no it? I was like the roast master dude I was no like way. the How that go? it was awesome it was a really cool experience I like Whitney is the most chaotic person in the world mm -hmm. so when she texts me she's like do you want to host Burt Kreischer roast I'm like yeah for sure I'm not thinking anything of it I thought yeah. it was just gonna be like a night at the store where they like honor him and it was like a full blown production like oh, shit. they had like 14 cameras it's a whole thing there's like writers room oh, shit. it was a whole thing i didn't really like think about that and then as that week approached i'm like oh this is a real deal <laughs> no. this is yeah, a real that's thing a crap my pants thing so yeah oh <laughs> terrifying so there was one recording of it and i think i was like i didn't really rehearse a lot for it you know i kind of just was like oh, i'll figure it out when i get there yeah. yeah i wish there was like two recordings so i could have like felt two different shows or two different crowds and like yeah. cut between the two but i think as if you watch it you can feel the progression of like when i get more comfortable um, what was the audience with? It looked like it was all OnlyFans girls. He, which is <laughs> great for comedy. Mix. Yeah, no, they really get was, jokes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was sponsored by OnlyFans, which... Oh, okay. Is that what know, it's on? OnlyFans TV. Okay. Which is a Whitney platform Cummings we need. Because Whitney Cummings does OnlyFans, but she, comedy. Yeah. She, I think she has a deal with them for okay. some regards. Yeah. But OnlyFans TV is like trying to get away from OnlyFans. Okay. like stuff. So they're doing like a YouTube version of it. And that's what it's airing on. Okay. Oh, when does that come out? Uh, uh, April 1st. It just came out. Oh, okay, it's out. Cool. But yeah, it's like hard to like market OnlyFans TV. Also, yeah. people don't want to click that link because they're like, we're just oh, watching. What my wife sees. I Literally, yeah. I got DMs like that. Somebody clicked it. They're like, oh, what did you send me to? <laughs> yeah, what is this website? Um, but yeah, so that was a really fun experience. Um, but the crowd was, yeah. It was a lot of OnlyFans girls mm. and then like influencers like Bryce Hall was back there and you're like, yeah. I am bombing right now. I saw Josh Richards getting a lap dance. I'm like, what is oh, going on? Oh, I was there. On? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At the, the strip club after. Yeah. yeah oh, that was after. Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, it was a chaotic event. So the crowd was a lot of OnlyFans and then some of the people that worked at the comedy store were in the crowd and then there was maybe like 20%, 30% were like actual Burt fans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was cool, but I mean, like the attend. I mean, there were so many people just like vaping in the crowd. They're just like, <laughs> it was like a four-hour TV taping. People don't oh, understand. Shit. You can't go to the bathroom. You can't like crack cans. 
So people just sitting there like vaping oh, their t-shirts. So it looked sweating. like the '80s in there, like an '80s music video. Yeah, just all foggy. I mean, people just thought it was gonna be like a oh, one-hour show. It yeah. was like a Shit. production. Oh, yeah, they didn't realize they were like actually part of a production. Right. They thought they were just gonna be like an audience. Everyone to wants to go to a TV thing. taping, and then you realize how it's heinous it is. Taping. Oh yeah, it's like a whole thing. Yeah, it's like four hours. You get like one bathroom break. You like your phones are locked up. Your phone's vibrating. You can't do anything. You're all anxious. <laughs> yeah, that's hell. yeah. I mean, it, it was a lot of fun. But um, did you hook up with any OnlyFans girls? I didn't. Have you ever? Mm, I don't know. A second to talk about Game Time. Game Time is the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. It's created by fans for fans. Game Time is the ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. And they guarantee the lowest price. I've been dying to get to a ballpark and I want to see a ball game so bad. It's summertime, best weather. It's the best time to go see the first pitch down to the nine innings. Brianna and I are dying to go to the Yankee Stadium, <laughs> Yankee Stadium, and we want to see Red Sox, Red Sox versus Yankees. So we're going to use Game Time to help us out. It's possible because of Game Time. The biggest last-minute price drop can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. The purchase process takes just two taps in 10 seconds. And once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get into the game seamless, see, seamlessly. <laughs> Skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email and redeem code PLANBREE for $20 off your first purchase. Let's get back to the show. We have a, we have a you know Glenny Balls? I do. Glenny Balls has his OnlyFans show. And a it's lot of only OnlyFans. Yeah, girls. it's called Only Stands. Mm -hmm. Only, stands. only stands. So he interviews OnlyFans girls, wow. and all of these girls, like he's made it a thing not to hook up with any of them, but they want to hook up with him. So really? now it's like it's like something he's trying to conquer. Like he refuses to hook up with what any a of cool them. Cool position he, to be. I, mean, I know. Best job ever. And yeah. they all want to hook up with him. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is going <laughs> so on? Crazy. Yeah. So what does he say after? He's like, sorry, ladies. I, it's business only. I'm saving myself for. Got to go eat only ice cream. <laughs> you know. It's so insane. <laughs> I just can't believe he's saying no. It's just wild. Do you think he is? Do you think on the side he's like, no, and then he like leaves I the Barcelona think office he's and he's like, what's no. up? I think he's saying no. I think he's saying no. I yeah. think he'll hit it off with somebody. They're like his, he's like godfather to these these women. Yeah, it's insane. It's wild. Really? The yeah. dynamic is kind of scary. Is it doing It's doing well? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Wow, I mean, the only him and the OnlyFans girls are doing well. Whitney Cummings was on it the other day. Yeah. yeah, and she was in the lobby, and I really made a fool of myself. I hadn't seen her before or met her, so, and yeah. I just I saw her out the corner of my eye, and I'm going to go get lunch, and I go, Whitney! And she's like, hi. I'm like, just like a huge fan. Just like a really huge fan. Like, I'm just like a really huge fan, and I just yeah. couldn't stop saying that. Right. Yeah, and then I came back from getting lunch, and I saw her again, and I go, that wasn't cool. I didn't play it cool. I'm sorry for not playing it cool. She's like, okay, you want to get a picture? I'm like, mm. It takes a lot to weird Whitney Cummings out. <laughs> yeah, I weirded so. her up. <laughs> she, called, she called her producer, like, ugly. <laughs> her phone out walks out of the kfc radio studio and go points it right at me and goes all of the people at barstool look like they just rolled out of bed in their pajamas yeah. i'm sitting there I like myself yeah. uh, i love her she is fucking wild she will just turn she'll like her stories will like record for like an hour straight just like phone i'm like you know you can cut <laughs> it doesn't have to be one story yeah, it doesn't have to be it's the, the age thing. gap she's she'll just like text me at like 4 a.m and be like show idea and i'm like whitney go to bed how did you like become friends with her God, how did I? Um, I think that there, I just like through mutual friends, I was doing somebody else's podcast or somebody, or she like caught, like if you're kind of in the, the comedy scene in LA, you kind of just like, you're aware of everybody, but you might not know them. Mm -hmm. And then I, I don't even fucking know. I think maybe she followed me or something. And they're just headed off. Just yeah. Slid I, right did, in. I did her podcast and we just connected. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I was like, are you hitting on me? I'm down. <laughs> you have a sex robot. I'm also down for that. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Yeah. Take what I can get, man. We, we just hit it off, and we, we had like a three-hour podcast, and it was oh, just like. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, she's, that's Joe Rogan style. Yeah, oh, I know. I had to pee like nine times. <laughs> but yeah, hit it off. Just really, just a nice, cool lady, and I mean, so successful. Yeah, she's yeah. crazy. She's like my idol. That's why I freaked She's like out. swings in her house, and I'm like, you know how fucking that rich you gotta so be cool. to look at a corner of your house and be like, swings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a wall-bearing, weight-bearing wall. It's That's wild. wild. When did you move to LA? I moved there right after college. I like 2016, I think. Oh, okay. so you've been there. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah. When do you think like you really kind of took off? 
Mm, maybe like 2019 and then pandemic helped which oh, is weird okay. I, no, I feel no, weird no, being no, like yo pandemic <laughs> buy bread and butter all <laughs> the influencers say that they're like no it really worked out for me I know but then you have to be like but like you know what happened in the world <laughs> it was fucked yeah. no, I felt but really also bad for everyone who died but, but also the algorithm and me got along yeah, <laughs> yeah that shit I think was it was wild. like 2019 I had like like three videos like back to back that just like crushed and then that kind of just like put me on a new level. And then the white claw shit really helped. And then the pandemic, I just kept making videos because nobody was touring. Nobody was doing stand up. Yeah. So I had just doing like videos. It was so weird. I was like taking like my like microphone that we like put on our shirts mm -hmm. to record. And then I like rub it off with hand sanitizer or like put it on a table. And mm -hmm. the other actors like grab it. It's like <laughs> recording so during the pandemic. Wild. Yeah. A wild time, honestly. That but. was crazy. And it happened and it's over. That's like crazy to me. <laughs> it's like, over. That was like a real thing that happened. I know my Snapchat memories keep coming up and I'm like, what the That's fuck? When I, I remembered I had on. a mustache, it the Snapchat memory oh. recently was like, this is you April 5th. And I was like, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> Skip. I was walking in public with that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I know. Me too. I had like black hair and like makeup all over my eyes. I was like, you're disgusting. What an era. Yeah, it was. It was good though. It worked out for all of us. Yeah. yeah. yeah it was so. wild. I remember one day I hadn't like worked out and I don't even work out a lot, but like I did a workout like in my bedroom during the pandemic and I felt like this boost of serotonin for the first time in like eight months. I was like, dude, I'm ready for whatever. <laughs> so like just like dips on like a on dresser. the end of your bed. Just yeah. anything. <laughs> I mean, anything. I mean, it was a wild time, honestly. Yeah, we were really reaching was. for some serotonin. Were you guys here or were you guys in New York or? Yeah, half well, of it. Half of, in like our suburbia hometown. Oh, yeah. Living and with my family. We weren't allowed to talk about politics in my house. Yeah. Me and my dad would just bump heads. My mom said no more politics. Yeah. Uh, I was also part one of those families that uh, I wasn't allowed to leave the house. So for the longest time, I couldn't leave the house. And then we moved to New York. <laughs> we moved to New York <laughs> mid-COVID, and it was terrible. So you're like, I can't leave the house, but also New York City, baby. Here yeah, I, I was like, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you just like, just one night just dip? Just yeah, ghost, no. ghost the fam? Late at night. Um, really? Just like, like a hobo sack. Just, just a bandana and a stick. Yeah. yeah. She didn't even come view the apartment. So I just came and I looked. I was like, hey, want to move here? She's like, sure. Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Like actually, I was gonna was go back wild. to school, but I was taking it off for COVID, and I was like, "Yeah, fuck it." And we dropped out. Honestly, smart. Became yeah. a Doordasher. Yeah. <laughs> Shit was lit. It was lit. She was Doordashing on foot in the middle of snowstorms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, the Super Bowl was my best day. Three bucks. <laughs> please tell me people would see you walking on foot and tip you extra. Nah. Uh -uh. Really? They don't know. They don't know how I got there. They I don't would know let them know. I would put a shoe in their food. <laughs> <laughs> Guess how this got here. Dude, feel I, my hands. Oh my <laughs> god, the novel. mitts that they gotta wear yeah. is crazy. Out I, here. I, I had a guy drop off food when I used to work in an office, and he it was pouring rain. He had like a, the thinnest little like plastic poncho, <laughs> and he's like. Here's your food, man. And just his <laughs> eyes. I don't know if it was the rain or if he was crying, but I was like, here's twenty dollars. I know it's Smash so that twenty sad. button. <laughs> I know, right? And then he turns a the corner, he puts on his normal clothes, like fucking simp. Yeah, <laughs> it's in his Tesla. Yeah, yeah like, right. I'm fucking good. What do people milk that? I, that's funny. Oh, oh they I totally heard, do. And I've I heard fall of people, for it every um, time. Somebody, somebody on a Heelys had... pulls up. Oh. <laughs> Ankles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I tore my ACL for this. <laughs> well, somebody had um crutches once and like dropped really? the crutches when they were leaving to get a bigger tip. Wow. Like fell on the crutches. That's oh, honestly I saw smart. that during COVID. I got yeah. scammed in the middle of the road. Do you remember that? No. What happened? Uh, this lady, she was walking. She had her salad and I'm walking and I'm just like, little girl walking in New York. Yeah. She bumped into me and she threw her salad on the ground. She's like, that's my only money. That's my only lunch. You spilled it. I was like, and you bought a salad. Yeah. I, that's what <laughs> Bitch. I was like. First of all, there, that's gross. It looks terrible. And I was like, you hit me. And she's like, no, you hit me. And then some guy, I thought it was going to be my shine, my knight in shining armor. I thought we were going to fall in love and I was going to see him again, but he came across the street and he's like, she's scamming you. People Just do that follow here. me. Oh, People shit. do that. I'm like, Oh damn. And then Are he drops a salad. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but my buddy Steals used to live in New wallet. York and he told me that uh Michael, you remember yeah, from podcast. Yeah. He said that like somebody would like drop a bottle of like nice alcohol. Yeah. And it'd break and be like, yo, you fucking bumped into me. Yes. That's eighty bucks. You gotta and that's and just then like, you uh, watch them go meet their little accomplice in the corner, and it's like, what the fuck? This but is... I mean, if I'm new to the city, I'm paying that man immediately. Oh, I am yeah. nervous. Terrified. Yeah. Yeah, it's I went scary. I got scammed by a valet guy. He had a limp. <laughs> So <laughs> they're gonna say less pimp. Oh, dude, I would have. <laughs> but yeah, 
he's like limping up to the car and comes back and I drive back and I'm like, man, I look in the rearview mirror to be like, hot oh, me, you know, this guy's working hard. I tipped him 20 bucks and he's walking normal. Oh, like, you fucking wow. son of Motherfucker. a bitch. That, that's, <laughs> but again, that's hustle. That's I would hustle. Do it. Yeah. yeah. I get it. Cause yeah. you're making what as a valet worker? Minimum wage? Probably minimum. You, I think you're working off tips for the most those part. Those tips are what you need. So yeah. if you're limping. Dude, I was mad. I didn't think of it. You're yeah. Acting. I'm going to get out of the car and limp now too. Yeah. Everybody thinks a, Dude, I'm like drunk as fuck. Yeah. No, that kid's got a problem. People just be nice. People People got their hustles. Yeah, it's New awesome. York. Everybody, everybody's got a hustle out here. I, just, I, I did Gary V this morning before coming here, and he's like talking about like Beanie Babies are the future, and you and you're just looking at him, and you're like, "Is it Gary? <laughs> is it?" Dude. But he's so compelling that you're like, "You yeah, know dude, what? I should get in on those Beanie passion. Babies." It's how you talk about it. It is. He it could really sell is. Me on anything. Anything. He could sell me on fucking anything. The way that he like believes dude, in what he he's could saying. Bring the pet rock back, and I'd be like, "This is the new NFT." This is right. Yeah. <laughs> but like how he talks about everything. Because he gets so like he has like sad eyes too. Too. so like mm. you really like you have to listen you he feel connects like you have to look. Yeah. he does yeah. he's got that like uh sarah mclaughlin commercial like yeah. eyes, oh shit yeah where he looks soul. in you and he's like hey it's all gonna be okay and i'm like i haven't even said anything <laughs> in his voice <laughs> I'll like, he's great like, oh. he's so nice but like he they, like you just felt like you just you're encapsulated <laughs> i know he makes me feel stupid a little bit too yeah of course yeah, i had the same winnie effect words. today when i saw him I was like, gary you know what's uh, <laughs> dude, fucking uh, rise and grind dude <laughs> and, i'm motivated yeah <laughs> Woo, i woke up so early this morning <laughs> but dude, it's crazy it felt like i was in entourage like he was i was walking with him down the hall and somebody's like handing him this and somebody's like ted's on your two o'clock he's like where's my flight and then Wait, that's like, real yes Oh, it was wow. the first time I saw wow. it. Their office is like 400 people. I was like, what do you do here? Please tell me. What are you doing? His right? office is 400 people? Massive. What is his office? What is it, it for? Well, he's got a bunch. He's got like well, a production company. Everything. There's like there's like V Friends, which is like his NFTs. Oh, he's just got it all. He'll tell it's, you. It's, He'll yeah. tell you what oh, he does. Because <laughs> he was in a meeting when I got there. So like they gave me a tour. And I learned like every department. But like there's like, I got like tagged in like six different accounts from like Gary today. It's like Team Gary V, V Friends, this and like being <laughs> oh, there. But, God, um, that is insane. But it was so cool to see. Like I've always wanted that where you're walking. So he's like, here's your coffee, blonde fat, oat milk. And then walking up. You like, need this at three. Oh, yeah. That's it was, so cool. It was, it was cool to see. They're coming over with like two different patterns. Like, we're gonna wear for a tie. Yeah, yeah. it was wild. It was like, wild. This, it, it felt like that was the first time I really was like, I'm in New York. Yeah, his view rated. just looks at the city. <laughs> it was like a Jets like poster. It's like falling down. <laughs> oh fucking Gary V. That's wild, man. man. That's a, that's so that's quite the switch up. Gary V to Barstool. Yeah, yeah and everybody's very like minded <laughs> here too. Yeah, the Barstool NFTs are launching pretty soon, mm -hmm. so yeah. that'll be sick. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Um, Frank the Tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean all these offices. It's kind of just a bunch of dudes, just like kind of just like low key, like rip, sorry to say the V word, vaping, okay. and yeah. they're just eating their sweet greens. Like, oh, it's hot, dude. Oh, I fuck with your TikTok. <laughs> well, and then just back. Yeah, love your shit, bro. Yeah, love. <laughs> Love your shit, bro. Trevor Lawrence, right? <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Have the bros been into you here at Barstool? Did anyone ask you for pics and shit? Uh, in the lobby, there were some dudes, yeah. but I, I don't know. I, I but you I said think, fuck you now. But also like Barstool, no. <laughs> <laughs> but also Barstool gets like a list people. So like if they see me, like, oh, so, like it might be a couple head nods. They're, yeah. they're trying to play it cool. That's what you, you think. Yeah. yeah. You think? I honestly, they're think creaming so. their jeans for you. In my head, I was like, might be some hot chicks working the front desk, you know, <laughs> walking on in. I'm Hell like, yeah. <laughs> Is a smoke show. Ebony, nice lady. Ebony, she big Looks like she just rolled out of bed. That was a Whitney joke. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's uh, I was here years ago. Uh, I did answer the internet and then the other KFC show. But like, it's mm -hmm. the same kind of like. Yeah, same really vibe. It's just like new people every once in a while. Yeah. You know who we had today? Do you know who Octopus Lover is on TikTok? Oh, yeah. We He's had everywhere. him in today. The office went in and up Really? Floor. Everyone freaking the He's fuck out. He's the guy out. right now. It's like him and Matt Wright for like the internet. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. internet. Oh, my God. Matt Wright got, got canceled on your podcast. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he just... I think it was just guys being guys. guys. It was locker room talk. Locker room mm. talk. And for the most part, people only know Matt from like one minute segments on yeah. TikTok. And if three and dudes smoking hot, <laughs> yeah, well, and that's what three the women dudes, said. if three, yeah, exactly. If three dudes are having a conversation for an hour, it's inevitable. We're going to be like, yo, tits are kind of like low key dumb. Like we're going to say <laughs> yeah. something. Yeah. And then he said yo, something. Gross low key. Yeah. He made a comment about what vagina should and shouldn't look like. And, um, What's the weirdest thing you've ever called a vagina? Oh God. We talked about this, this with someone uh, yesterday. Probably a, you said it to the vagina. Oh, to the vagina. What do you call it <laughs> while you're talking to it? 
probably pastrami on rye, just okay. dead in the eyes. Oh, no, yeah. looking right at it, honestly, I don't even know. I'm scared to make eye contact. Yeah. That's like some Cleopatra shit. I can't yeah. look at it for Men too long. Black. Yeah, I just get hard, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't I'm trying to think straight to it. I don't know. No, maybe like, what do you call it when you're talking with your boys? I do think it's funny that in like college, you call it like a slam piece. <laughs> like, I've had the same number for like 10 years. So like in my phone, there's like my like frat era uh -huh. of like contacts. It'd be like Terrence slam piece. <laughs> <laughs> like, she has a whole family now. She's Larry's. married. I never even made love with her. Oh, I just got her number piece. once. I like, got a bar on like $2 Tuesday. I'm like, I'm a fuck slam piece. Slam piece. <laughs> at least it's not slam pig. Oh, Jesus. Slam Christ. pig was tough. Our friends, um, sad. But it's, it's, I hate that we call them our friends. Yeah. But our friends call women holes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So yep. it's like slam piece. Yep. Yeah. Holes. Just a hole. Slam holes is just, but like guys are so dumb and simple. Like, too, like, you see where his vision is. Mm -hmm. He's just so dumb. It's so serious with a pen in your hand too. I, like, I, but like I'm a fidget kid. Like I need to just be like touching something. Yeah, no, I like it. It's yeah, like so. Like Gary v. I do feel. I, yeah, yeah. Gary v. Manifest, you manifest, know. manifest. Dude, I met a girl last night at a show, and she goes, "I manifested a pen the other day." And I was like, "Ha ha!" And I was like, "What?" And she's like, "No, like I lost a pen, and then I went to the seminar." And they gave out free pens and said we could keep it. And it was a nice pen. And I manifested that. Is that a fucking serious thing? It's a, a real, real thing. Someone said, what's your zodiac sign? It, oh, my God. That would have been like surface level. Like, <laughs> like the fact that she like legit manifested a pen. I was like, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, where is your ayahuasca from? <laughs> It's Saying just that like, with your real mouth to a real person in real life yeah. is just crazy to Maybe me. Maybe she got nervous like you did to Whitney. That's true, but I wouldn't say shit like that. I would just but like, speak my truth. I thought she was <laughs> fucking around. She's like, I manifest everything, no matter how big and small. Do you believe in mani manifesting things? Uh, I, I say no, but also every time I see a clock that's 11 11, I'm like, I'm a fucking wish. <laughs> that's you know, a wish so for like, me. I <laughs> might not believe in like a vision board, but if I see a clock at 11 11, I believe in that. Some people like write it down, like write things down like 500 times a yeah. day and like really believe do it. Do you guys do that? No. I mean, I just don't have the energy. Like, I don't care that much about myself. Really? To do that. Yeah. I just like, you got to put in the work. You're idiot i almost said something bad <laughs> <laughs> well i like think of, i know what i want to do in life and that's in my head but then the second i go like write it down i'm like what did, what do i want to do yeah, i don't life? know myself what, yeah who what, am i yeah get bigger dick like i can't manifest for that <laughs> woman at bar stool get glenny balls reject women <laughs> slippies 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 can't call me the balls. do the producers of his show at least get chicks like if Glennie's oh. not down, they're like, "Yeah, I'll take your number. I can call you an Uber." I'm like what? I'm just picturing. Like I've never seen the show. I, I I can only picture him just like smoking a cigar, saying, "Not you, honey." Next, That's and then like crazy. bringing him in. Yeah, he's like the Sopranos. Like <laughs> yeah. he's like very much. Wow. Yeah, he's kind of a baller. I mean, it's crazy. Like OnlyFans girls, there's like managers in LA that are like manage like five OnlyFans girls. I'm like, I what know. Does that look oh, like? that's money. And they yes. yeah. they do all the private messaging for allegedly. Them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just some dude in like a Versace robe. Like, yes, your cock looks good, Kevin. Yeah, yeah that's what. They don't like understand. I know. It's crazy. I, we met like a like a nineteen year old kid. He's like, yeah, look look at this. I just said he's super hot or whatever. Like, it's yeah. a they nineteen year old run. boy on the he other line. He was a line. manager, and he was just like, yeah, I talk to all these guys all day, and he talks about pussy and like <laughs> getting fucked in the ass. It's crazy. That's crazy. Imagine being drunk and you like really lean into it. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I need you so bad day. right now, <laughs> right? Come over. Maybe yeah, that's what his work is. <laughs> He just puts on some like party next door to play, and then he starts DMing yeah. with central, the Drake album Honestly, that just dropped. Probably therapeutic. Yeah, yeah. yeah for these guys got to got to be weird to be doing that. I think it is. Well, you, I wonder if the guys are ever like, you need to chill. Yeah, relax. <laughs> <laughs> I don't respond me. in twelve messages. You need to chill out. <laughs> you do not know me. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking wild. Uh, mm -hmm. So, do you have any more stand-up shows coming up? I had one last night. Now the rest of the week, I'm just hanging out. Just chilling. Yeah. And where else planned? Chelsea oh. Music Hall. Oh. oh, okay, cool. Yeah, cool spot. Was like it better than Equinox. was it better than Upstate? Crowd yeah, was? it was great. It was fun as well, fuck. It was like it was things. awesome. It was like a good. It was like a cool venue's packed in. It got real New York towards the end. Mm. Like like one guy wouldn't stop talking, and then this other guy goes, "Hey yo, dickhead!" <laughs> <laughs> and then I got like, <laughs> hey, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and then he tells he tells me he goes, "Why don't you tell dickhead over there to stop talking?" I go, "Why don't you tell him?" He goes, "It's your show." I'm like, "Why are you bringing me into this?" Show? <laughs> Wait, that's funny though. It was so awkward because it was all in the vicinity of like 10 yards. Oh, it was like God. corner guy, me on stage, and then the guy in the crowd who wouldn't stop talking. It's like a triangle. Literally, yeah. it was like the Spider Man meme. I'm just like, I don't know who to shoot. But oh. once I heard, Ayo, dickhead, I was that's like, Ayo, awesome. dickhead. I was like, 
New York. Yeah, so Where are you awesome. from? I'm in mean, Southern California. Oh, I was born in different. Illinois, but for like two years. So I don't really count it. But. Okay. Oh, Southern California, guys. Yeah. You got a whole other vibe So every time on. I see somebody doing like New York shit, I get like excited. Yeah. Like, like when a biker <laughs> yells at a pedestrian, I'm like, fuck. Yes. Fuck yeah. Fight, the, fight. the bikers are like the biggest frat bros in the city. Here? Get the fuck out of the lane. They oh, are so here. mean. Yeah, the if they even see like trying to trying to cross while they're coming, what the fuck are you the doing, you dumb idiot. bitch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a guy on TikTok who just records all of his. Call people fat? Yeah. 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 But they're crazy. Okay. They yeah. act like they're not going to get ever hit like a, a, a stoplight. Like uh, you could just chase after them. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how often that happens. <laughs> Watch it, dickhead. And then you just drop your suitcase and take <laughs> <Yeah>. off. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, but yeah, they're, they're, I mean, I'm I'm more nervous crossing the bike lane than the actual street. Oh, me too. Yeah. The street, and I'm like, you get hit by a car, you get that pension, you get insurance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're lawless. Getting hit by a bike they, is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Oh, it's Plus, there's no everyone. repercussions. They just get to get off scot free. Be sure to shop all the new Plan Bree merch at the Barstool store. We have tons of new items, including be a decent human hoodies, don't date frat boy hoodies, don't talk to me hoodies, sleep in your dead tie dye hoodies, and the all new East Coast Girl and East Coast Mentality Collection. I also have some merch of my own coming out, so be sure to check that out. You can shop now at store.barstoolsports.com. Let's get back to the show. Yeah, and then you just it's look like, like a fool. No, it honestly might be hurts more because yeah. you go under. Yeah, nobody looks like a winner in that scenario. No. no. Nobody's like, oh my God. Because if you get hit by a car, they're like, oh, just, I feel so bad for her. Yeah. Her salad, you know? But if you get hit by a bike, they're like, yeah, you guys both fucking losers. You fucking <laughs> morons. Yeah. Do you guys have bird scooters out here or no? No, they don't allow those. Really? Which is mm-hmm. crazy to me because you think they would. We have the electric bikes that go pretty fast. Like I the think e-bikes. that's why. Yeah. You're, it's like Autobahn shit. You can't put a scooter on this. Yeah. But in LA, you see drunk chicks in like Santa Monica all the time falling bird scooters. I got mm-hmm. lost on a bird scooter really? in LA. Dude, yeah. I got so lost walking around the city. Why is it so embarrassing to admit you're lost in New York City? Oh, because it's, I will it's, never. Because it's um, numbers. You just got to go by the numbers. And if you don't go by the numbers, but dude, then I was trying to go to 4th no, Street and the numbers it. kept going oh. up. And then I was like, dude, what am I going to just U turn here? <laughs> you can't. You're like, oh, even if you take the first left and you're like, oh, I got to go that way, you got to go a whole block around you know, like, so too. embarrassed i'm like not checking my map i'm like i'm just on spotify <laughs> zooming in fourth and all the way. Oh, i feel like a freshman on campus again i'm like i know how to get to biology <laughs> fuck is biology oh, imagine going to school in new york city i always think about that like nyu students how the fuck do you know where you're going oh yeah there's just the campus is the whole city yeah, yeah it is interesting and you're too young to be living in new york like that's crazy to me that like yeah. kids grow up here yeah like, those 14 kids are in new scary york as fuck is man insane there's a different breed well, they grow up tough as fuck. They're like 14 and already addicted to just chain smoking. They got holes in their neck already. I know. They're insane. They've they jump people. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah, yeah. They are He's the fashion trends. He's drinking water from the Hudson. You're like, what <laughs> yeah. the fuck? Yeah. He's like, I'm invincible. Yeah, I got so lost the other day. And I felt like such a, like I would like check my like phone and like fake a phone call. Yeah. Like, zooming in on the map. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Dude. It is, yeah. Because I think with New York, you want to just look like you belong here. You want to blend mm-hmm. in. Yeah, you don't want to look like a tourist at all. Right? Somebody told me... Um, the boyfriend who's from LA and the girlfriend lives here. She, he's like, squeeze my hand when we should turn right. <sighs> that, that way he knows if he's like leading the pack, like when yeah. the, that's good. Yeah. That's good. But that's, that's like subtle shit. But now if I know, and I see a dude squeezing hand, I'm like, yo, pussy. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't nowhere you can go. from Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking crazy. And I bet that shit, type of shit happens all the time. Certain oh, yeah. Color oh, yeah. Words, you 100%. Know? I still get lost. And I don't yeah. want anyone to know that. Yeah. You can't. But I'm glad I didn't say it publicly. You're like, I am just in the Bronx tonight <laughs> at 4 a.m. This yeah. is where my de- this is where God wants me. Oh, I'll ride the train all night long if I have to because Wrong. I don't yeah. know where I'm going. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I get scared of the train. I always think it's going to push me on the fucking tracks. Yeah. Really? I stopped taking it. That's a fear. Yeah. I just like know in my head. That's something that I feel like I've manifested. I don't believe in manifestation, <laughs> but I think about it so much a pen. that I think <laughs> I'm going to get pushed in front mm. of a train because I'm really? always like someone's going to push me in front of a train. That is true. There's no like wall. No. no, and people legs. get pushed in front daily. I really? saw this girl on TikTok. Why? She has no legs now. Oh no! Yes, yeah. she was like a push for no super reason? sexy girl, and then some guy just came up and pushed her. Mm. She didn't have a list though. Yeah. So they just do that, just like fuck you. Today's Crack your day, and they punch you in the face, and nothing happens. Yeah, I don't take the subway. Yeah. It's just not fun. That's also lawless. Yeah. Just the, all all the traffic and transportation is lawless. It's around so weird here. because like like the biggest of celebrities you see like take the subway. And you're like, what, what, are you, what are you proving? Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to prove? There's like prove? a photo of like what's her name from the office? Jenna Fisher from like the office. Yeah. Like, she's like I think she's like breastfeeding or has her like child oh, with her. Yeah. And I'm like Use an Uber. You're not even yeah. from here, bro. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I just it scares me. It is fucking. I'm crazy. a bitch. I'm an LA pussy. I all day. Yeah, you, At least you grew up in it. California. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude. I yeah. My sister lives long. here, and she's like, it's so easy, and scan <laughs> tapping and doing all this stuff. But like, 
Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I remember my here. the car didn't work one day trying to get into, and this guy yelled at me. He's like, "Just fucking jump it!" I was like, oh, no, you can go ahead. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> no, I fucking I, I like waited until nobody's there, then I like scanned it. I wouldn't. I'm scared to I jump wouldn't it. Ch- oh, the I second can't, somebody's I can't yelling, jump it. <laughs> my brain shuts off if you start yelling. I just oh, like no. I don't know what to do. Oh yeah, just I'm sorry. I just hold my wall at me. Take it. I'm a good man. <laughs> oh good, I leave. I'll just leave and I'll cry. And I'll, I'll cry. start yeah. crying. Yeah. Do you guys live close to bar store or no? Whoa, um, yeah, we're right down the street. Yeah, we live on the east side. Oh, so it's an easy commute. Yeah, west side to east side right there boom yeah that was pretty you said that dope yeah i know that real. was like some new yorker shit yeah, yeah. New I, there was the, the clip where you talked about meeting fake me at the party mm-hmm. and you said wicked weird but like the way you said it was like i was like that's authentic as fuck <laughs> it's crazy wicked weird yeah wicked but no weird. no, was, no the, you downplayed it right there I like did. on the clip when you talk about it, it was like wicked weird, but like it was, it was like <laughs> It was like one. It was one word, and really? you combined it. It was, it was so, it was so weird. cool. Yeah. Damn. I guess it was, it was wicked cool. That kid does look like you, though. I will say. I, I need to know who this kid is. No, it's yeah. not that kid. What? I know. I DM'd that kid, and I was like, "Are you that kid? It's Are not you that kid. Trevor Wallace Jr.?" So there's three. It was there's three people. That's why. Dude, I get tagged in the most disrespectful things all the time. Oh, never yeah. tell somebody anyone me, you look like someone. Dude, somebody That's insane. recently told me I look like Sorry. Clay Aiken. I was like, I forgot about that man. <laughs> But you know what's fucked up? That gets a good pop, you know? It's yeah. a good laugh. That Megan Rapino soccer Megan player. Megan Rapinoe's funny. If I had your hair with this color, Megan like, Rapinoe. Dude. Yeah. But, like, sometimes it's just, like, uh, I get tagged in so many TikToks. So like, you look like this. And I'm like, I've never felt good about this. Never. I've no. never felt good about it. Ever. Oh, well, mine are pretty tough. It's, like, the the guy from The Mask. You ever see the movie The Mask? With Jim Carrey? No, the other mask where he's uh, um his face is this big and he's red oh, no, head freckles. It. It's tough. He's I'll tough. Put yeah. a visual up, but uh, it's <laughs> tough. And then um the kid from the Sandlot, I get that oh, all the time. Really? That's yeah, tough. It's the freckles. Damn. It's the um, lip freckles. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I get Jeffrey I get? Star. Jeffrey Star is like gorgeous though. <laughs> Can you just have Jeffrey Star in here? We had yeah. him yesterday. How was that? It was great. He's fucking. So he's electric. Rich. Great. Oh, just just the aura. The aura is great. And, and lives so in Montana, right? Yeah. Like in Wyoming. Wyoming. Yeah. Wyoming. Just yeah. disconnects from the world. Still bagging out. Yeah. But can still come to a city and like run shit. Yeah. yeah. And he's so nice. Like he's so famous and cool, but he, he doesn't give off I'm better than you vibes. Yeah. yeah. Which was really cool. Which is what I'm getting over here. Yeah. Oh. I'm sitting away from you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's like women. Is this over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot more fun on KFC. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. How was KFC? It was great. They're so fun. Mm. They're, I mean, Pretty it's like just, better. Fights are uh, Kevin. Uh, Dave Portnoy. I love everything Dave Portnoy. I love pirate water. Everything about it. Pirate water. I love when you drink this on the show. You're like, it fucking is what it is. 10%, two bucks. Yeah. Fuck you yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's it, man. That's like the millennial, like Gen Z, like Jordan Belfort right there. <laughs> two bucks. It'll fuck you up. Done. Sell me this pen. Done. 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 Literally. Sell me this pen. Yeah. I grew up drinking like a Mad Dog 2020. It was like a dollar something. Yeah. That Four Locos. Oh, yeah. Those are crazy. Mm-hmm. I have an original Four Loco at my parents' house. House and oh, you can oh that's my, my NFT. Caffeine that is and all. your NFT. That's yeah. crazy. I still have it. That's I don't know what to do with shit. It. But what's funny don't is I poured it. I well, I poured <sighs> it into a water bottle because I had to hide it oh. back in the day. So it's like this, like it's the great flavor. It's in a water bottle like this. I'll, I would take a sip for sure. Shoe yeah. nice it. Oh Shoe my god. He's still alive. No. Yes, and he's living yeah. in a Band Motel Eight. He's living in a Motel Eight, like off of uh in the valley. Really? Okay. Yeah. What up? That's a dream. Loud Luxury's manager like always drives by him. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> he's just out there. He's out there. What is he doing? He's not nicing the shoes anymore. He's just he's just trying to like kind of be normal. Off low key. Low key. Yeah, he's just living in a motel. Which is where most low key people go is a motel yeah. eight. Yeah. 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 You're gonna find some low key ass people over there. Yeah. Well, he probably feels like normal there. Like people are so crazy at that like motel <laughs> that he feels like normal. That's a sense yeah. of community. Yeah. 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 I like wow, that. good for him. Shoe nice has found peace. Yeah, good for him. Welcome I to 2023. I'll find his brain cells back though. Mm. That's mm. tough. He was the guy that would like just chug like handles of like. Yeah. But he's like doing it like this. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was Poor sad, bastard. but he's okay. But those views. Yeah. But those. Hey, come on. I don't those even YouTube think he jacks? knew how to cash out on that though. I, <laughs> that's why. <wild. laughs> like, no could way. Could you imagine? He's at a motel eight. <laughs> he was doing all free advertising too for like all of the drinks. A poor guy. Yeah, right. we gotta send him some power water. Yeah. We know where he lives. I do, oh but he's off the shits. Oh, Not yet, until he had one of these boys. <laughs> Put him back on, hook him back on that shit. You Are send these him carbonated? Water bottle? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, he could crank some of those. Yeah. The margarita sure. flavor. Oh, crank that shit. Dude, he could crank some Windex. I feel like he was doing, didn't he move beyond he's, he's, alcohol? Yeah, he started cranking like shit that you shouldn't be cranking. Yeah. That's where you cut Chemicals. it off. That's yeah. why he's. That's Fabulosa? Why. Yeah, that's when you got to cut it off. <laughs> so the <laughs> eyes started going a little crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. He has, his glass eye fell out. It wasn't glass before either. <laughs> he has a glass eye? <laughs> no, it turned glass from all the Windex. It was crazy. Oh, my God. You're, yeah. You probably have really good breath after Windex, though. True. <laughs> <laughs> right? You just walk by somebody like, what the fuck? You smoking menthols? Yeah, you just spit on people's car windows and <laughs> that's <laughs> funny like how the homeless dudes would do it with like the 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 god what is it called newspaper he just spits on it doesn't it <laughs> yeah. Ugh, legendary uh, legend that was fun nice. my brain just stopped working for a second no that's, that's okay. it's been firing other, otherwise i like i, I don't like i don't like do any educational purpose i don't like read or anything yeah no <laughs> i feel no like, educational like, purpose but like <laughs> i have like friends who, like read and journal and do all this and then i don't do any of that and then like my brain spends like 80 percent trying to remember the word newspaper and i'm like <laughs> yeah pick up a book yeah. Yeah. no I'm, but i would say i would i would argue that doing stand-up is like a form of education oh that's true because yeah. you have to be quick with it. You have to yeah. think on the spot. Yeah, yeah, it is like the gym for your. You can't brain. be funny if you're not smart. I think. Yeah. Like it's actually right. funny. Well, if the, you yeah, can make like, actual people jokes. Can, you need people laughing with you, not at yeah. You. Street smart, book smart. You yeah, know, it's like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I totally agree. Is there, cool. is there any questions or how are we feeling? Um. Okay. I think that was a silly little episode, and I'm glad you came on. I'm, it was great. Yeah. Good, thanks Did for you having fun. Do you like these women in this I room? I love these women. Okay. They all do not look like they just rolled out of bed. Oh, well, perfect. Those pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that's the most winning thing ever to do. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks for doing my podcast. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. The episode's out on Stiff Socks. Check it out. Thanks for having me. It's Where can fun. the people find you? What What are you promoting? Uh, Trevor Wallace shows? on everything. I'm going to be touring a bunch, getting ready for the special in June. Ooh, big, big, okay. big. Anyway. Shooting off. Austin, Texas, you know. yeah. me and Joe Rogan, crowd. the biggest comedians in the world right now. No, <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> but hey, let's I've pop out. That. Let's pop out. Please to do. Austin, to Austin Texas. It's going to okay. be the end of June. Tickets will go on sale soon. Where but is that'll it? be uh, Austin, Texas, the Paramount. Said it three uh, times. No, so. <laughs> <laughs> just the whole city of Austin. I'm just going to that just town hall. What's up, guys? Austin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. On a bird scooter. Um, I'm so excited to do it. So I'm just going to be gearing up for that. I'll have some tour dates. But yeah, I'll probably start coming to the city and to promote the special when that's out. And Hell thanks yeah. for having me. This awesome. was a lot of yeah. fun. All right, come by, Trevor Wallace. Go thank find you, him. Thank you, thank you, thank you.